Whitaker just hopping in on one foot there and I don't think they're really going to be able to control this, the, the training team. This is how he's going to choose to do things. He's just that kind of a character. Looking to try and measure that right hand. I think Rock Brighton to Grant Landon, he's just it's done no real conviction in the shot and he's expecting something to come back. Leading off with that right hand. The Dan Aziz, who were quite a distance away, that's gonna be a hard conversation to have to be honest. I think it's Johnny who's shouting. He just steps off. Just trying to beckon Grant in towards the end of the first round. I didn't see that. No, the eye come up well before that. I think the scariest part about that, the, the backhand that came through, is it wasn't even. Oh, and he's standing again here at Dallas, right to the very start of the round here. Jordan Grant, and here comes the town. Three, Christopher Dean calls his stop to this contest at 13 seconds of round number three. Declare your winner by TK. to encourage the crowd at right hand lead and this is difficult for Belus. He's got to try and ignore all of that and just stick to the task of the into the body. And doubling up on the left hand to the body as instructed. Then turned it into a screw shot, then a right hand down the middle. That was neat. And Belus give a little bit of trouble here, it goes down in a heap. Oh, good body shot. It was that combination again, wasn't it? It was the uppercut right hand, left hand into the body. Left hand there for Whitaker. He's letting his hands go now, final few seconds. He looked rocked there briefly, Belusky and Whitaker just mocking him slightly. Telling him off now, Mark Dyson, but he had a good three, four seconds there. Left hand there for Whitaker, and the referee has jumped in. to run in the right hand stopped him running in and that hit him on the button and then the hook that's just what caused the end exactly a referee described it to me once as when a fight
as much of it is part of the show show business and the, the swagger and the brand and all that type of thing, I do... Oh, well, beautiful. beautiful body shot there from Whitaker, and you could see the grimace on the face of Brady as he took it. <laughs> and right hand there from Whitaker to the head, then down to the body. He, he has had his own successes, just obviously not enough. That was a great body shot from Whitaker, and he felt that his hand was dropped immediately. Brady in a little bit of trouble here, backs up to the corner, sinks down onto the bottom right, in comes the towel. And just as he was ordered to by the corner, Ben Whitaker provides the finish in this fifth round. Has said that when you talk the talk and you behave like he does, you have to walk the walk. And everybody at ringside appreciates somebody in Tokyo, the much-anticipated debut of Benjamin Whitaker from the West Midlands. It's an exciting time, there's massive expectations of him. And he's showboating within 30 seconds of his debut, Tash. Because he's got so much talent, he, he probably has to work harder because there's so many different areas that he can exploit. Winding up his punches, and O'Neill doesn't know where they're coming from. Whitaker playing to the crowd. And this is what we're going to get with him. The word Marmite has been mentioned time and again in the build-up. You're going to love him, you're going to hate him, you're going to watch him. Three skills of Whitaker in and out. The razzle-dazzle. Well, I think in the opening three minutes, we've seen a bit of everything we're going to get from Whitaker already. Look at this. Incredible stuff. And it was a big oh, shot, shot to get his signature for Ben Shalom, and he's first on his feet, and the dancing begins. People, look, people will criticise things and how it goes on in the ring. You should see how respectful.